The tech that you choose to travel with can make a really big difference in your travel experience. If you bring too much, it'll weigh you down, and if you bring too little, you might be missing something that could have helped you capture a special moment on your trip. I've traveled all over the world, and I recently packed my tech bag for 2023 and wanted to share a few of the things that I'm planning to take with me throughout my travels this year. First, the bag. I bought the Brevity Jumper a little over a year ago, and I love this bag. It comes in a bunch of different colors, but I just ultimately settled on this green one. Opening up the bag, you can see I have it broken up into several different compartments. In this first slot, I've got the Canon RP camera. I started this YouTube channel with this camera and I've shot every video except this one with it. It is one of Canon's budget mirrorless cameras, but it's a full frame and it's super compact. I normally keep the 35 millimeter lens on it and I found that the built-in stabilization is good and has a great minimum focus distance, which is perfect for some of those portrait and macro shots. As a heads up, I'll try and link everything below that I talk about in this video. In the second slot, I carry the RF Canon 50mm lens. This is a great all-around shooter, especially when traveling and taking portraits or trying to capture city streets. Tucked here in the back corner, I have a generic battery charger for the camera. It's worked really well for me, and it's much cheaper than the official one. It even comes with two batteries and is super compact, which makes it really easy for me to charge and swap out batteries on the go. It does charge over micro USB, which is a little bit of a bummer since I have to carry an extra cable with me, but for the price, it's really hard to beat. In this upper slot here, I've got the side-by-side -side power pack. This thing is great for organizing all of my cables and charging gear. It's made of this really stretchy fabric, so it can expand to fit more if you need to bring it with you. And inside I've got a couple of chargers, some lightning cables, USB-C cables, and micro USB cables. On the underside, the side-by-side, -side, I've got this three-in-one wireless charger from Woodward and it fits really well. It has magnets on it to help line your iPhone up to charge and has a spot specifically for an Apple Watch in the middle. It's been great for travel since it's so compact and I can charge my phone, watch, and AirPods all at the same time. It's even made of tempered glass and aluminum and it feels really premium. Also in this upper slot, I've got the bottom half of the snap pod. I'm using the upper portion to film this video, but essentially it's a small MagSafe tripod that makes setting up your iPhone to shoot videos and photos really easily by just attaching it to the back of your phone with magnets. Moving on to the front pocket of the bag, I keep another pouch from side by side in here. This is a simple grab and go pouch for air travel. It makes it easy to keep all of my airplane essentials all together. I've got my first gen AirPod Pros in here, and I also keep a Momax MagSafe battery pack in here, which is great to charge up my iPhone. My 14 Pro Max can go almost zero to full with this battery pack, and it has a super neat built-in stand, which makes it easy to prop up my phone on a, on a tray table to watch a movie. In the front of the pouch, I keep a USB-C thumb drive. My iPad only has 64 gigs of space on it, so I often copy movies over to this flash drive to watch offline on a plane. And I also keep a chapstick and some eye drops in here in the other slot. It's always handy to have these easily accessible on long flights. Moving on to the top compartment of the bag, you'll find the snap grip. I love this thing. I made a review a few months ago and it's been one of my favorite accessories for the iPhone. It attaches magnetically to the back of your phone and gives you a DSLR style grip and shutter button for taking photos and videos. It even has a built-in wireless charger to keep your phone charged while shooting. I've paired it with the Snapshoe and the Deity D4 microphone to improve my audio quality when shooting outdoors. And it's a super simple video setup that works great and just takes seconds to set up. Also in this upper pocket, I keep my AirPods Max. On long flights, these are a must have. The noise cancellation and sound are great and it makes pairing with my iPhone, iPad, and even Mac a breeze. I also keep the lightning to 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter in here in case I wanna watch something on a plane's built-in screen. I also picked up this case on Amazon that supports the deep sleep feature of the AirPods Max, uh, but I really do wish these headphones folded up a little bit smaller, but I really like the convenience. I also keep an AirTag in the upper pocket up here, uh, just in case I were to ever be separated from my bag. Moving on to the top of the bag, there's a zipper for the laptop sleeve, and up here I keep my iPad Air 4. I use it for watching movies or editing photos and checking my email on the go. 
I actually found this really neat case from Moft, which uh, gives you a ton of different mounting positions for your iPad that make it easier to view in a bunch of different scenarios. One of my favorite is this one that pops it up several inches off of a table. So imagine sitting on a plane, propping this up a couple of inches to watch a movie on your tray table, it's, it's great. Also around the back of the bag, there's a small hidden pocket that's perfect for storing my passport. Well, that's it. That's my tech travel bag for 2023. Hopefully you found some inspiration and thanks for watching my channel. Please consider subscribing down below.